Okay, what we're going to do for this tutorial is we are going to create our headline here, similar to um, this, but on this page here. So what I've done is in our text box that we've got on our layers tab, I've gone to text, uh, I've locked off the other two layers, and I've used the text tool to, to type in the this as our headline into the green box. So I'll just use the text tool and I'll just place it there and typed into it by clicking. Okay, so that's done. So what we need to do now is to resize this to get it to fit on the page. Now, there is a bit of a problem with this, because there isn't a um, tool that allows us to automatically take that text and add it to, and make it the same size as the text frame, which is quite annoying compared to other versions or other software that we sh which we could use. So we have to do it by hand. So first of all, I know that I'm going to select it by holding the mouse button down, and it needs to be underlined to start with. So we am going to select it, and I'm going to select it again, click on that option there. So that's underlined it. Now I need to make it a size that it fits and change the font. So I think it's around about 30. But what we can see there, and that doesn't look too good because see it's overlapping on itself. So that's the text size, and this is the space in between the text. You see that as we increase that, it makes the text bigger. And we always want to have that bigger than our font, so I think that's going to be about 30.4 in terms of the size. So that's what's also, and also, I don't think the font reflects this, so that's more of a sort of hard font with quite bigger letters where this is. See the T is a bit too soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font. I reckon that that is an aerial, an aerial black. Make that a bit blocky, a bit bolder. Looks a bit more like this. Okay, now we can see we've got something that's looking good there, but we can see that we've got a lot of space here. So what we need to do is um, sort of play with a few options in here to make this text fit the frame. I think it could do it being a little bit bigger, so let's just try 30.6. Try 30.5. So we definitely want that to be on its own line. Okay, that might not work. So point four it is right. Okay, so we're gonna change a few other options here. We're gonna make the text here a bit bigger, a bit longer, uh, which we do in this menu here. That's under an eight. So that's just made it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change this a little bit bigger, and we're gonna change this and move it down, which changes the positioning of the text, which is gonna bring it a little bit further down, if so I mean like so. Still see there's still some white space. There's quite a lot of white space in between here. We want this to fill this text box really. So all we're gonna need to do is a few other things. So you change this, make the space in between text a bit bigger now. To bring that down a bit more. It's looking a bit better. And what we also the other thing we can do is put that up to there. Uh, we're going to change the spacing of the underline. So to do that, we'll go over to here, we'll go to characters. Go to up here, underline options. What we're going to do is we're going to change the offset and we're going to make the offset a bit bigger. So we turn. Maybe not turn, maybe a bit smaller. Maybe offset in here. Click on the underline options. Maybe that's seven. 7.5. Let's have a look. Also, it's a bit thick compared to that, so so we change the size. So again, into here, into characters. So we're on menu characters. Underline options. Maybe we need to make the weight about a one. 
thought it was a bit bad. I thought it was much bad. So let's have that. Make that out. Pass to this. We can see that this is starting to take shape. Okay, see they've done that, so let's let's change this. So I'll text now, let's make that red or blue. So you're going to highlight it, we'll go up to color. Uh, we'll go over to here, into there, sorry, into there. Pick a color, so let's go to red. Oh, that's, that's quite good. I did that by selecting the um, color. I wanted to use the text tool. Going over to color. Double clicking in this one here to, until it brought up the menu. And now that it's starting to look pretty similar to this. Which is good. So in the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll add in these little bits of text here, here, and here. Also make that letter there, um, and that's what we'll do in the next tutorial.